Okay, so on the PC, Windows, aka, it's literally connected with the cable that they provided, plugged it directly into the PC. But when you first try to open the file, it says, like when you try to open this, this file, it says don't run, like that's the only button, but you can click the more info button. And if you click that, it says run anyway. If you click that, it opens this screen and I just plugged it in and it just starts right up. So thankfully it's easier, but you have to use a PC, um, I guess, or get a good or better adapter. This one does not work. I used all five of these cables and the one they provided me. So let's go to the start update screen. Let's see what happens now. Checking version, it should be like 147. Yep, there we go. Latest version, 146.148. Well, let's update. And now we're updating. Five minutes. All right, but probably not going to take five minutes, but we'll see. So this is going to help get it down to, like, the newest software. I think it helps with, like, the database pretty much. It's nothing, like, crazy, I don't think. helps with database and maybe some, like, bug fixes or stuff like that, but... That is pretty much it, but I haven't updated it since I got it because I've just been putting it off because I don't know, but this is definitely not, not too hard. So just make sure, I guess you have to have a proper device to do it, um, or a proper adapter, but I don't know. It's, there's a lot of like stuff that doesn't work properly, which is, it's fine. It's whatever, but thankfully this works. So, and I, I think you have to reset like the stuff, the factory. So I'm gonna have to update those settings again, but I took a video of all of the settings before, so it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, hopefully this will help the performance a little bit, but yeah, anyways, I'll catch you guys when the update is done and finish. Um, actually, wait, let me show you guys real quick where I got the thing. So literally all you do is search up, oops, sorry. Trying to hold it weird. There we go. All right. Go back. So this is why I searched up. Unit in R7 update. And support downloads and manuals. And then I clicked this one. This is the one I tried on my Mac, but it didn't work. Maybe because of the ad adapter. I don't know exactly. But either way, it still didn't open like the... Like it didn't open this screen. It was like an outdated version. So yeah, I, I just recommend doing it on Windows, I guess. Because fuck Mac. Shit's so bad. Their like UI is so like un uncompatible, which is so annoying. But yeah, this is one. Just download that, and that's literally all you need to do. So it's actually pretty pretty straightforward to be honest. And yeah, let me open the Vortex video. Let me actually just do that on my laptop while that's updating. All right. Yeah, so this is how it's supposed to look. Let me check the RD form. Latest file. Yep, that's what I'd say the same thing here too. Latest file will be uploaded. So press start. If not, stop. You have the latest version. Once the update is completed, disconnect the radar detector from the PC and power on the radar detector, which is why I have this thing right here, the Noco Boost. So I told you this thing was gonna come in handy. <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry. Um. Once the update is completed, and then, so this is not going to affect lockouts or user marks or like me memory stuff, hopefully. Or it shouldn't, sorry. Um, manual installation, advanced, fine for the upgrade. Installing F4 versions of your choosing, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is a manual. You don't need to do that, though. This, if you don't need to do that unless... I guess this is what I need to do on the, piece, the Mac, but it didn't even like read the version. That's why I didn't go through with it. Cause it couldn't even detect that the detector was like plugged in. Um, so update on that real quick. So yeah, pretty much this is it. Once you update it, once you update the detector, once it's done here, you just have to turn it on. And you can obviously do this in your car. I just want to get everything done here real quick. So do that right now. Once it's done, um, and then you just have to go to settings, open menu, I mean, and then perform a factory reset. And this will reset all the settings to default. So make sure you 
screen record or I mean not screen record take a video or write down all the stuff before and if you want the specific settings that you have had before and yeah that's pretty much it so this is almost done I'm just gonna keep it going real quick but yeah this is like the only sort of negative I've had with having this detector it's been like over a year um so yeah there we go update completed um the negative is mainly really because of the Mac. I think it might have been because of the adapter or one of these cables. But again, this cable works with this. The unit been provided one works on a PC. But I think, because I can't plug it in directly here. Like, I need an adapter, but I think this one is not a good quality one. Um, which is why it's just this one. So that might be why. I don't know exactly, to be honest. But... Yeah, anyways, let's let's get this. Let's see what it says now. Let me X these out because these are annoying. Okay. Update completed. So it went from 1.143.147.121. This was done January 4th, 2023. And this is the latest update. 2024, July 2nd, I believe. Um, and then this is the latest file 146.148.122 for reference by the way click OK and it's disconnected it's reconnected and as you can see it's updated this is my first time doing it so I'm kind of going with you guys just opening these other tabs just for reference for you guys whoa that's kind of cool what, what does this mean I don't have no idea what this means this is menu. Oh, this is like the, the factory settings. Wait, these are my settings. Oh, cause they're not reset. Oh, I guess this is a good way to show you guys what my settings are too anyways. That's kind of interesting actually. Hmm, that makes sense. There's so many settings that I don't think about it. So my menu is on expert mode. Uh, detection mode is on advanced speed unit miles per hour this is my time zone well battery warning off i just have it on battery saver self-test on memory quota a thousand out of a thousand i don't know what that means maybe just i don't know i don't think i have a thousand so i think this is just the capacity um okay yeah so if you guys want any of these settings i'm just gonna scroll through them real quick but it also depends on what state you're in and everything. So don't copy mine word for word. Um, they're not like fine tuned or anything. They're, I've definitely like tweaked them, but they're not like, cool, like perfect. Um, yeah. So let's close that. Let's see what else. Option, auto connect, dark mode color. Oh, that's cool. There we go. That makes it look cooler. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it to up, update your detector. Um, literally all you have to do is search up new Narsen update, go to their website, go to their website, and these are the files, so you, wait, I just, hold on, this was the file that it updated, but this, it says it's the latest, so I don't know if it updated me with the latest, latest, but I'm not doing all that for this one, so, yeah. Either way, that's pretty much it. And then depending on what platform you are doing it on, if you're doing it on Mac, this is the one for Mac. This is the one for Windows. You just click this, download it, and then it'll open. And again, depending on your PC or your settings, it might say don't run. So, so click the more info button, and that will help you. Um, that will help you get this running. So overall, it actually doesn't take long. Um, so I'm glad they kind of made this a little bit smoother of a process. But this seems like it's a second updated version because it's based on here, based on the timestamps, I mean. But yeah, again, it's definitely better than a year and a half ago. So yeah, we're just gonna keep that like that. Let's see what it says. If I click start update, checking version, connected version. Okay, so yeah, that's good. So this is good. So yeah, let me bring you guys over here real quick. I'm trying to 
do this in one take so you guys can kind of get a feel for like the time sense of it and like the so if you guys don't like long form oh, god damn it so if you guys don't like long form videos i'm sorry you're gonna have to go find another video but i like keeping it more unedited and like raw because i feel like the small details are what matter and sometimes when i watch videos they don't they skip past the detail that i really want to see and it kind of makes me mad like i'd rather the video be raw and i can just skip through it to find stuff than they edit out the stuff that they don't think is useful so yeah but let's plug this baby in so I'll turn on the noco again I, you can do this in your car but if you have something like this portable jump starter which can handle a 12 volt let's plug in the detector i just like doing this i just feel like it's cool and she's gonna power up laser and then you go to and then you go to menu that's kind of cool watch this oh oh wait why is it not moving all right whatever um trying to see if the direction moved but it doesn't menu. so you go to menu let me go backwards actually because it's faster there we go you can see the update the version is updated version 146 so it's definitely has been updated I don't know what this means. What is this? Oh, there we go. So I have 345 new memories, zero user marks. I don't really need the user marks. I don't use them, but it's interesting. So don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. This is what you want to do. Factory reset. And then you just click the... Menu button again, and it factory resets it, so it changes the colors back. And now I'm gonna have to expert menu. So yeah, switch this City back. To advance. I have to switch all these back. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So once I switch these settings back, that is it. This is the detector is good to go and ready Exit. to put back in my car. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on that, um, please let me know. And I will include a link to this, even though you don't technically need it, and to the forum, because that's going to be pretty useful. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.